This is Fernando here with Century 21 Real Estate. And I am at Symphony Homes today, checking out their Orchard Heights community. The model home that we're visiting today is the Canon. This specific property is a two-story. It is roughly 4,760 square feet. It's built right here on a 0.26 lot, just a little bit over a quarter acre. Now, this community is all new. Within the past few years, they've been developing this area actually quite a bit. So if you guys are unfamiliar with Orchard Heights, we are right over here in West Jordan. It's actually uh, far, far West Jordan. You can take a look over there and see the mountains. This is Kennecott right over here. And uh, right now it's actually really beautiful here in Utah. So we're right here at the back of the property. Now it's really hard for me to see the camera. So I'm hope, I'm, I hope I'm getting these, uh, this, this shot in full frame so you guys can see the entire house because it it's actually quite a large house. And I love the design. If you guys take a look at the way the stucco, the color of the stucco actually contrasts very well against the black there. It's really, really good. Man, today is such a beautiful day. All right, let's continue around to the other side of the property. Now this community, to my knowledge, is offering on some lots a uh, swimming pool, which we don't get too much of here in Utah. A lot of our homes don't have swimming pools just because it's not very desirable being that six months out of the year, it's a little bit cold. So people do not really build those as much. So taking a look at the front of the home right here, you can see the way they have the glass panel doors on the garage, which I really like. So the reason we're here at Symphony Homes is because we've been taking a look at a lot of builders here in Utah and uh, there's, I don't know, a few builders here that are not really delivering as far as design goes. Um, I know that a lot of you buyers out there love the contemporary, mid-century, modern. Designs, so. These guys are definitely delivering. So first thing you do, you come and just notice that uh, it's about eight foot door, the three panel, which is really, really nice. And take a look at what they did here, guys with this chandelier. They did a beautiful job. So we'll walk through and take a look at what they did as far as the design. And uh, we're definitely gonna give a shout out to the interior designers who actually work for Symphony. They are over at the design studio, uh, Brittany Milne and Air, uh, Michelle Elton with the designers for this property, so big shout out to them. Now the Canon has a ton of windows, so you get this really nice um, natural lighting. And then look at that view, guys. You can see right over there in the Wasatch Mountains. You can get a good look at uh, how much snow we've been having here. Let's get back over here to it. So, when you first walk in, you get this nice open concept design. You 
Man, I love this island right here. You know, we walk in a lot of model homes and the one thing that I've noticed is they are putting a ton of emphasis on these large islands right here. And this one actually looks like it may be one slab. I'm not seeing a seam here. It's a little over an inch and this is quartz. It's a really beautiful cover color. So undermount sink. Yeah, there's no seam on this design. So they did a really good job on the waterfall. Let's take a look at the stove right here. So this cooktop, gas cooktop. Oh, I just love the way that sounds. Okay, so all the appliances here in this property are Whirlpool. And this specific home here, again, we're in the model, so we have a ton of upgrades. Let's say roughly about $100,000 in upgrades. So the price again on this property is 865,000 with um, the upgrades. About another 100,000 you can add to that. So take a look at this railing here, guys. I don't know if you can tell, but this stairway is actually about five feet wide. So it's really nice. And again, all of the black steel on the railings. Beautiful, beautiful job, guys. Okay. And we will continue on to the rest of the property. So I did skip the master on the main, but I wanna show you guys that lastly, because that thing is absolutely gorgeous. And uh, yeah, I wanna say the best for last. So right here in bedroom number one, upstairs. So this would be a great bedroom for your kids or your guest bedroom. I would say it's somewhere around a 11 by 12, somewhere in that area. And I apologize guys if the lighting is not coming through correctly. The property here does not have any blinds, which is fine. Um, but it is a very bright day here in Utah. We have all the snow, so everything is extremely illuminated. So again, with this bedroom, about the same size, say it's somewhere around 10 by 11, maybe 11 by 12. On the second, and then let's go into the third bedroom. We have quite a few bedrooms on this home. So let's just get through them. Now, I love the way the builder incorporated the double doors on all the closets in the property. So it just gives you a little more space where you can get in there and hang your clothing. So take a look at this catwalk, guys. All righty. So. All right. So let's continue walking in. We'll hang a left out this way. Take a look at the mudroom slash valet. So let's go into the garage here first and just give you guys an idea of how much natural lighting you do get with the glass paneled garage doors. A 
ton of nice natural lighting. So take a look at the floors here. They did an amazing job on this epoxy. So like I said, guys, this property has a ton of upgrades. If you guys want to learn more about homes like these and others, you can give me a call or text anytime. I have my information down in the description below. So I would actually consider this a four car. This garage is definitely tandem. Let's say we're about 30 feet deep. From the entrance. Over here you have your sprinklers. Let's take a look at this back. Entrance. Such a beautiful day here in West Jordan, Utah. Orchard Heights, Symphony Homes, Canon Model Home. Okay, now let's uh, come back over here. So, first come in, you have your mudroom slash valet. Now this is where you would Take your shoes off, dif disrobe from the uh, cold weather outside, which is really, really nice. Provide you with some storage so you can remove your shoes and not track mud throughout the property. So we're into the half bath, powder room. They kept it very, very clean. Not too much going on in here besides some of the antique style lighting. Huh, if you guys know what those bulbs are called, let me know in the comment section. I believe those are Edison bulbs, but I know there's a name for those specifically. Okay, let's uh, hang a left out here and continue on. So this right here is the laundry area, your laundry room, good size. A little bit of cabinet space, but I would definitely add some uppers here for additional storage. Okay, let's continue on to the rest of the property. So, custom cabinets in the kitchen. Again, you have the Whirlpool appliances, your built-ins. Nice fridge. Take a look at how they designed this cabinetry here. I love the way they brought these up and actually placed the cabinets on top of the quartz. They also provided a different color here and I love the backsplash. You just see this right over here. Okay. Really nice dining table. Let's take a look at the pantry. See just how much space you get here with the cannon. So it's definitely a good sized pantry, a lot of space. I love how they left everything open and didn't put any doors on these, uh, this shelving right here. Good job guys. Take a look at this view guys. Now, I love this fireplace. So this, if you guys are not familiar with this, this is actually concrete. Very, very solid, but it's funny, if you walk up to it and you feel it, it doesn't feel like concrete. They did a really good job on that, laying that down. I love the faux beams up top. They did a really good job on those. Beautiful design here at the Canon. So let's take a look downstairs. Again, I love the open wide stairwells. I'd say about maybe four and a half, five feet wide. But take a look at what they did down here. 
So you walk down, come here. This is actually considered your game room, but they actually built a kitchenette. Now, call me crazy, but I think there's enough space here to lay down a bar, which would be nice. You have your microwave built in. Your quartz countertops and your wine refrigerator. So this is temp controlled. I love these things. Okay. I love the glass cabinet doors they give you here as an option with Symphony Homes. And then take a look at this subway tile that they added right here to the backsplash. They did such an amazing job. And then look at this, guys. Look at how cool this is. This is actually the handle here. And the water's off, okay. So, let's come around here and take a look at everything else that's here in the game room. So you have some more cl closet space. Some additional storage. Take a look at the size of this thing. It's probably a good 45 feet long let's say about 20 21 feet wide so over here you have storage this place has a ton of storage space over here as well this is our utility closet We have our cold storage back here, which is underneath the porch, front porch. And then you come in this room and you have the epoxied floors. Now there isn't a washer and dryer hookup, but it looks like you could possibly get a second or washer and dryer down here. Or you can use it as another storage or maybe even throw a treadmill in there, have a little gym. So let's go to the fourth bedroom right here. About the same size. Again, we have our double doors into the closet. Oops, don't want to break that. Okay. Let's continue on. We have a double vanity. And a nice shower and tub. And you have your Linen closet here. Plenty of storage in this property, guys. Let's take a look over here to the left. So 
So we have our bedroom number five. Now this bedroom's a little larger. Looks like this could definitely be the guest bedroom. You have your walk-in. out to the game room area. So let's go upstairs and get a sneak peek at this master bedroom. So right here you have your study. It's right here, symphony. So the study here, they've converted into a temporary sales office. Take a look at this. Let me just show you guys right here. So take a look at this wainscoting here, guys. I actually brought it up to the ceiling. Okay. Some more storage space. Moving on over into the master bedroom. So, lots of windows in here, guys. A ton of natural lighting. I really like the way they created this coffered ceiling look right here. It kept everything very clean, very simple, very contemporary. Didn't overdo it with a lot of the build out. Uh, I really like, uh, really like the way they did that. Very clean. So, into the master bath. They definitely kept the same color of quartz throughout the property, which is really nice. And I love how they kind of switched it up by adding different color cabinets. So, you have your double vanity. laboratory and you know this master is not the biggest but I love how they kept the very high ceilings in the property which give you just a little more space a little more room to breathe and it almost makes you feel like the home is a lot bigger than it actually is so I really love these guys you guys um, are new to a lot of the latest and greatest in home construction, you'll see that we are trying to do away with all of the shower curtains and shower doors. And they're moving over in to this wraparound shower, which is actually really nice. This one is actually quite large. I love the honeycomb tile right there on the floor. And they give you a little space here to set up all of your shampoo and uh, body wash. Okay, so take a look at this bathtub. This is actually a very, very deep bathtub. Okay, so you are right here next to this window. I would say this is about a five by five. You get a lovely view of your neighbors and the mountains. So we're in Salt Lake Valley and Salt Lake is a valley what I love about West Jordan and a lot of these newer communities over here is that because we are a valley, West Jordan's kind of on the, uh, especially this far west, we're kind of on the um, upper bowl, upper edge, upper bench, maybe the west bench. And uh, it gives you 
puts you up high enough to where you can actually see a 360 view of all the mountains surrounding the Salt Lake Valley. So if you guys like views, Orchard Heights is definitely a great option for you. So let's go ahead and walk outside, take a last peek of the exterior of the property. So again, guys, my name is Fernando Petty. I am here at the Symphony Homes um, project right here, Orchard Heights Community. The model is the Canon. Style is two story, 4,700 square feet roughly. And uh, yeah, if you guys like the video, go ahead and give me a like, share this with other people. If you guys know buyers interested in building new construction, um, one of the things that I feel like a lot of buyers do not know about is that most of the times when they do enter lots of these model homes and speak with builders, they're actually acting unrepresented and without a realtor. So, um, you know, it doesn't cost you guys anything to have a buyer's agent. Uh, if you guys know anybody looking to build, please uh, um, give my number, give my information. I would love to help and I'd love the opportunity to earn their business. Again, my name is Fernando Petty here at the Symphony Homes in Orchard Heights. Thanks again for watching and have a good day.